What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Almighty Dale. I'm hooking y'all up with 750 cash. All you have to do is enter your email, click the link in my description, do a couple of tasks, and you'll get the 750 cash. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Almighty Dale. I'm back with another video. You know what I mean? I haven't been posting like that, but I gotta stop posting, man. You know, a lot of things are coming up. You know, we got Halloween coming up, and then you know, Christmas is coming up. And for sure, Christmas, guys, you gonna expect 25 days of vlogmas man i never done it before but we're gonna see if i can do 25 days of vlogging for christmas you feel me whether i'm going christmas shopping doing gingerbread making whatever you guys want to see comment down below for the christmas vlogs so i'm doing christmas vlogs you're gonna see me in a pajama christmas fit too so like expect the christmas vlogs coming man for sure and then i ain't even tell y'all but i'm gonna do a little story time video for another video and explain to y'all that you know things happen and i lost my car you feel me so i gotta definitely do that video for y'all because i keep it 100 percent real and authentic with y'all with my life so like i gotta tell y'all what happened you feel me so i'm gonna tell y'all that whole story for another video maybe for today or tomorrow but i'm definitely gonna sit down and do like a mukbang or just like a regular video story time explaining how i lost my car and what's been happening and keep y'all updated but besides the point of that better things are coming in, are coming for me you feel me i'm gonna get another car bounce back but me and lisa are on our way to the trampoline park with samaya you know i haven't been to the trampoline park in a long time but we're gonna have fun say what's up to the vlog say what's up samaya say what's up yay but i'm gonna turn the vlog back on me get to the trampoline place make sure you like comment subscribe you already know the vibes we out hey, what's up vlog man so we at the trampoline place with samaya say what's up with the monkey look Hey, think it's Samaya playing with the monkey. You ready to jump? Huh? Are you ready to jump? Come on, come on. Let's go, TT. Yeah, we had a trampoline park. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Gonna skip the jumping over here with Lisa. Come on, Samaya. Over here doing this waiver, man. So I'm gonna turn the vlog back on. We start jumping. Stay tuned for more lit vlogs and so really all I gotta say. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we out. He's gonna bust his ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We at my fucking Urban Air Trampoline Park. We just be having a good ass time, ain't we? Come on. Don't break your neck. No, I'm not scared. I can't do it. Bruh. She looks, she's scared. Jump, baby, jump, look. Look at Samaya. Oh. She's scared. Look at her. She's fumbling. Oh! Look at Samaya. You having fun? Uh. Hey man, we at the trampoline park. We might do dodgeball next. They got a little like sky thing up there. They got this little uh, wipeout joint. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. You know where we at. I'm out of breath already, but I haven't been here in so long. I'm thinking that they got basketball, but I don't see no basketball, bro. But we're going to keep jumping around and having fun. A little drop zone. And I'm going to turn the vlog back on when we get to the other fun stuff, like this little thing right here. That right there. Oh, and then we're going to do dodgeball. But yeah, we out. Going down, okay? She's coming back. Don't cry, TT coming, okay? Look.
So what's good, YouTube, man? You feel me? Same vlog, new day, and I'm back. You feel me? This is the fit for today. We got a V-Loan on, some purple enforcers, man. A little calm, a little hat. But besides all that, man, I told y'all in this video, where I picked up off at was I was at the trampoline park. I'm gonna let, let y'all know I didn't get to get any more footage, but I got five minutes worth of footage from that day, and it was fun, but I didn't get more footage. Basically, I was playing the claw machine, and they got tickets in there. And I, you know me, I love kids. Man, all the kids were surrounding me and my homegirl, Lisa. And I was winning tickets and I, you know, I literally gave five kids a uh, hundred each to spend in tickets to get anything they wanted. So I think that day was a win-win for me, man. I'm telling you, I'm a lot, I'm a lot different from a lot of these other YouTubers, but I give back and I'm also a kind-hearted, loving person. You know, one thing I'm gonna give y'all, bro, and kid going through stuff out there and struggling right now, it's not the end of the world. You're gonna get, you're gonna make it on top. The people that get it, the heart, the people that go through it the hardest always come out on top. That's me. Like, my life story, guys, I'm gonna tell y'all when I blow up, I'm literally gonna do a documentary of my life and show y'all, hopefully, y'all get inspired of my life and what I've been through and dealing with. But it's crazy, bro, because. If I could go back and do it all over again and start over, one, I would I would love to have my mom in the situ in the picture, a supportive father, you know what I mean? Would love to still have my grandmother, all these things that I've been dealing with. But my life is not like that, obviously. Like I've been hit with the with the lows, man. And the lows really suck because the other day, which was October 7th, was the anniversary of my mom passing away. It's been 16 years I've been living without my mom for 16 years now. And that shit sucks. Like, I'm literally, like, lost for words. I remember the whole thing like it happened yesterday, bro. Like, I'm not capping, but it is what it is. You know, it's life. I was sad about it, but I don't like to get emotional. I don't, I'm not even a confrontational person in these situations when people try to fight me or talk shit about me and all that. All the friends I had were literally bullies. Like, I'm keeping it real. Like... I, I remember, long story short, guys, I was I was literally doing the perfectly fine in the beginning. I had 30, I ran up $30,000 to my name. I had a nice car, everything you could ever think of. But you know what happened? I didn't have that much friends. I was tired of being lonely. So what did I do? I decided to hang with the same friends that I had in high school. And what happened? They ruined my life. And I'm not gonna blame it all on them. It's also me because I'm not using my head and thinking and being smart. I'm making the dumbest mistakes. Going out, traveling with them, trying to fit in, trying to be cool, doing the same thing over and over like a daily routine, going out, spending money. Yo, Dylan, let's use your card. You got a $3,000 credit card balance. Let's use your card. Let's use your card. People not paying me the money because they know I'm a nice person. They want to walk all over me, not paying me the money back for fucking cash app. And I'm paying for niggas to get in the club. How the hell are you going out and you don't got no money? Why the fuck am I paying for you? Like, that shit don't make me no, no sense to me at all. So, long story short, my life got fucked up. I came to Houston with 10000 That shit went so damn quick because I'm over here paying for my friends, doing this, doing that. Oh, we going out here. We going here. Now, every month now, I can't even pay my fucking car no and keep up with my shit because I owe my friend money. And then... I get kicked out of my friend's crib because of a fucking kickback. It's a lot of shit that happened, bro, that I don't speak about, but I'm not the one to bring my problems to the internet. That nigga brought the problem to the internet. That's not me. But I'm not even gonna name his name. He know who he is. He brought the shit to the internet. It's cool. But I'm just letting y'all keep giving y'all an update about my life. It is what it is. I love, uh, right now, I'm really going through the struggle, but you know, there's beauty in the struggle, my nigga. Not even that, like, it's a saying, you gonna make it out on top. That's all I gotta say. And I'm gonna make it. And I'm literally letting y'all know from now. Look at this bit video years, couple of years from now, and watch me on top. I swear to God, these niggas gonna come back, or they gonna rule the day they disrespected me and did all this dumbass shit and weird shit to me and move funny. Cause I helped a lot of these niggas that so called with my friends, right? But when I need help, niggas are nowhere to be found. I'm helping niggas holding it down, driving their car, making sure they don't get jumped fucking buying car tires for niggas. I'm doing a lot of shit for niggas and all I ask for is respect. I don't ask for no money. I never ask for none, none of these niggas for a dollar. 
and these niggas could do, uh, do what they want to do and what they want to say to me. Like, what the fuck? I'm cool, bro. Like, literally, I was hanging around a different, different crowd of YouTubers, right? And they don't know me from a can of paint. They just met me. And it's like I'm the laughing stock of the joke every time when I'm around my friends. Like, that's some weird ass shit, bro. I'm going to be real. I'm the laughing stock of niggas, bro. Like, that shit fake as fuck. And then girls, are, every girl is literally telling me, and I'm trying to save these niggas. I'm literally saving these niggas for the bitches. Every girl that they brought around or I bring around tell me they was not your friends. They bullying you. They were this, they were that. Like, in one incident, one of these niggas that's my friends, I'm drunk as shit. We had a kickback. Then they ain't gonna slap me in front of bitches knowing I'm drunk. I don't like to fight. Niggas know I don't like to fight unless it's some serious shit. The serious shit I like to fight about if they talk about my mom or some family shit. I don't fight just because, but I'm not a violent person, bro. Like, I'm literally a kind-hearted person. Like, I would literally do a give back, everything like that. But people just crazy out here in the world, bro. So, all I gotta say is, life is crazy, bro. You could be you could be up doing really, really good, and none of your friends would talk shit or have nothing bad to say about you. But once you start falling down and going through shit and losing in life, niggas got all the type of negative shit to say about you. Get a job, do this, do that. Nigga, fuck you. Like, honestly, bro. Like, fuck all of you, nigga. Fuck off. That's why I'm literally doing better on my own now. I don't talk to none of these niggas. And I'll never talk to these niggas ever in my life, bro. On God. I'm not talking shit about nobody. I'm not saying no names. But you, you all know who you are. And like they say in life, you are who you hang around. And one thing, bro, I would not hang around these niggas, bro. These niggas got me robbed hanging around these niggas. Uh, hell this shit happened that unnecessary that I sh this should never have happened to me since I came out here but I'm hanging around the wrong group of niggas niggas that want to fight and do dumb ass shit so I'm done bro I'm better off on my own I'm, every time and you know what it is bro it's God showing me a lesson every time that I was uh, by myself doing what I needed to do I had way more money and way more freedom doing what I love to do and having fun and time my life. But as soon as I give niggas a chance and go back being cool with the same niggas, I get fucked up again. It's like God don't want me to be friends with the, same, the niggas that I'm trying to be friends with. And I forced it to try to do it again and I'm fucked up. Now I'm fucked up the worst. I lost my car. I literally lost everything when I came out here. The goal was not to lose my shit. The goal was to elevate. Like. And I'm a type of person, what hurts me the most is stuff getting taken away from me because I literally have that pain and traumatized from my mom getting taken, all these people I love getting taken and the situations that I've been in and I let that shit happen again. And I told myself I would never go back and let that shit happen again. But you know what? Third time is a charm. I got another chance coming up soon and I refuse on this last chance. This is my last chance. I literally refuse on this last chance when I get up again to let some dumbass shit happen like that ever again in my life, bro. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And 100K subscribers or a million subscribers, I will do my life story. And yeah, I know y'all want to see me record with that girl. I'm going to try to do some more content with that girl coming up soon. But yeah, that's all I really got to say. Stay tuned. I'm going to get some food. Might do a little mukbang, might not. And that's all I really got to say. Subscribe. Be on the road to 10K subs, straight like that. And comment down below if you want to see some studio videos next and other type of videos. We're going to do it for sure.